So what exactly is an artifact? Let's break it down. The word artifact comes from the Latin art, meaning by skill or art, and factum, which means something made. Artifacts are things made by people. They are things that can be seen, read, heard, or felt. In this course and in most of the humanities, artifact is synonymous with text, understood as anything that can be read analytically and interpreted. Here, text refers to more than words on a page. We use artifact in conjunction with text to emphasize that in analysis, you're not limited to things that are only comprised of words. For example, an artifact or text can be a photograph, an essay, or a movie scene. Paintings, presidential speeches, and even cereal boxes are also artifacts that can be analyzed to see how they communicate meaning. Music videos, poems, and plastic action figures are artifacts. They're texts that can be read and interpreted. Public service announcements, car commercials, environmental movement posters, restaurant menus, TED talks, bumper stickers, government policy proposals. All of these are made intentionally by humans, and they communicate meaning about the culture in which they were created, who created them, and they tell us something about the audience for and users of the artifacts. As you can see, there are a lot of options to choose from. Your instructor will set some parameters on what types of artifacts may be selected, but given the wide variety of cultural texts available for you to analyze, the challenge is often picking one out of many, which is why we now want to talk about what makes a great artifact for this project. Here are a few core characteristics of a quality artifact. 1. It provokes genuine interest, wonder, and curiosity in you. Selecting an artifact that moves you, intrigues you, even confounds you, and that you believe is important for you and others to understand more thoroughly will make the project more meaningful and enjoyable. This is your chance to not just do another boring academic essay. You'll grow as a writer and critical thinker much more when you're genuinely interested in your artifact and the issues it raises. 2. It's rich with meaning. Quality artifacts are complex and may communicate several messages and perhaps even contradictory ones. This is good. Challenging texts are often some of the most rewarding to really break down and see how they work. 3. It is specific and concrete. For example, the concept of liberty isn't a good artifact because, well, it's not even an artifact. You can't point to liberty. However, a magazine advertisement for a Jeep Liberty that shows the SUV tearing through a forested wilderness, encouraging you to leave the civilized world behind and be free, is a specific text, an artifact you can actually point to and analyze. If the concept of liberty interests you, of course, this is an excellent start. The next step is to look for artifacts where either the word or concept is invoked, whether it's in a car advertisement, a politician's stump speech, a comic stand-up routine, a university commencement address. You get the idea. It doesn't matter where you begin the journey, as long as you end up with a specific text that you're stoked about. So to recap, a quality artifact is one that provokes genuine interest, wonder, and curiosity in you is rich with meaning, and is specific and concrete. Here are a few additional tips to help you select a strong artifact and set yourself up for success. It's important to approach the process of analysis with a sense of openness, allowing the evidence to guide the development of your inquiry. Being perceptive and being broad-minded are habits of mind that go hand in hand, allowing you to see more and thus determine how meaning is being communicated. If you have deeply held beliefs about the artifact, this passion could be a boon or bane to your analysis. When entering the analytical perspective, therefore, be vigilant of where convictions or bias might be limiting your ability to observe and interpret. Discuss possibilities with your friends and classmates. Talking through a few choices with those around you can be extraordinarily helpful, especially in the initial phases of selection. Pay close attention to how your instructor discusses artifacts. Ask questions and collaborate with your instructor to determine a great artifact. Carefully selecting a quality artifact for your critical analysis project will help set you up for success in the project and the course. Above all, remember that this project is designed to help you develop your skills in analytical writing and heighten your rhetorical awareness. In other words, the goal isn't just to do well on the project but learn how to see things more clearly and vividly 
express thoughts more powerfully and persuasively, and engage with others and your surroundings more deeply.